Hi, this is Mrs. Peterson, and I'm going to be teaching you today how to add a Chrome extension to your um, browser so that we can add a thing called talk and comment. And talk and comment is going to be a game changer for you. You're going to be able to add voice comments to your Word docs, to your slides. I'm going to ask you to do that from time to time. You're going to receive those from me. And so it's actually a voice exchange instead of having to read text. So I'm going to just tell you right now how to add that to your Chrome browser. So what you're going to do is you're going to open a new tab on your computer. Don't judge me for how many tabs I have open. I always have a ton open because I'm kind of um, a multitasker. But you're going to open a brand new tab. And then if you look at the top, you will see a bunch of different applications that are probably already pinned um, as bookmarks to your toolbar. But one of them will be Chrome Apps. So at the top left hand of my screen, you're going to see Chrome apps. If you can't find it, then you can always put it in a Google search and just put Chrome applications. When you put in Chrome apps, you're going to get a screen like this. And at the top left, you're going to see it says web store. That's what we're looking for is the web store. And that's it. So you're going to click on the web store and it's going to bring you to a screen that looks something like this. And in the search bar, at the top left, you're going to actually type in um, talk and comment into that search bar. And when you put in talk and comment and you hit return, you're going to get an example of talk and comment. And that's the one you, you want. And yours is going to say add it to Chrome. I've already added it to Chrome, so I don't have that. But the little blue um, box on the right will say add it to Chrome. You're going to add it. It's a free download and it is a Chrome extension. Now, to use it the first time, you're going to need to um, close your tabs and open a new tab, and then it will all sync. If you, um, if you don't close and reopen, it doesn't automatically sync. The cool thing about this extension is now it's going to work with any um, program that you're running through your Chrome browser. Um, if you see, this is just a Word doc, and if you read it, it's very similar to the email that you got that um, this video was embedded in. But the talk and comment button is that little microphone that's on the right side of the screen. And that will now pop up in your Google Docs, in your slides. If you don't want to use talk and comment, you just ignore it. But there are going to be times that I'm going to ask you to use talk and comment. You're going to note in some of the stuff in the classroom, if you haven't seen it already, instead of instructions, I've left you voice messages. That's using this talk and comment feature. Now, I've just shown you how to add talk and comment to your Chrome browser. If you are confused, if you have any questions, do not despair. Don't get stressed. First thing, send me an email and you can just say, hey, I need uh, more information. I do have some videos that will show you, but they're kind of geared to towards educators and I thought they were kind of boring for maybe for students and their parents. But if you need another um, YouTube video, I will definitely send you a link to some of those that I've watched and you can watch it as long as you need to to get that added to your Chrome, um, to your Chrome browser. But if you have any other questions, like I said, you can email, you can use Google Hangouts. And remember that um, this is, I'm trying to add something cool. Um, yeah, I want a pointer. This is, um, this, this is your um, Google Hangout um, icon, and that's found in your Waffle. Or you can even request a Google Meets. And again, that's an icon that is found in your Waffle as well. Anyway, I hope you found this um, easy to follow. And again, this is talk and comment. Thank you.